A number of groups and individuals are appealing to the authorities to crack down hard on COVID-19 violators. Police Commissioner Milton Daisy stated that officers had been using their discretion when encountering persons who breached the protocols. Officers mostly issued warnings during the first Sunday 24-hour curfew. However, Daisy warned that the police will be taking persons into custody the next time around. President of the Vendors Association, Peter Ras Iper Isaac, says some of the measures may be too lenient. These measures, we think they are, they are measures that are necessary because if you notice, if you leave people on their own to just do the right thing, you just probably spin in top in mud. So I think um, sometimes we need to take the hard decisions. And um, in my opinion, I think some of them should be even a little bit more stringent because I think um, the numbers are really climbing and the, 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 the numbers are, are telling us something. They're telling us that there must be something we are not doing or we are not doing right. So I think we need to take some probably more serious measures as to try to see how we could bring down the figures. And that's, that's the reality of our, of our situation. Isaac says that while some of the merchants have been affected by the measures, they are in agreement with whatever is needed to bring the COVID-19 numbers down. Vendors generally, I, I, I'm sure they would see if the government take any more serious measures. It is just because that people are not following the protocol as they should. And as a result of that, we have these, the, the spike in terms of the numbers. As you notice, the government has turned, have, have asked for bars to be shut down and certain areas is grab and go and so on. It's because people were given the opportunity to do the right thing and they refuse to just do the right thing. So they really want to, to measures put in place to really curtail you know, the, the, what, things that they want to do, activities they want to go and to flaunt the regulations and the rules. Therefore, they, I don't think any option outside of that you, you can take. It's just these are the right measures and probably even more stringent measures. The NYC has also called on the government to rethink its COVID-19 management strategy. The government plans to issue tickets and fines to persons who breach COVID-19 protocols. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.